It was a very special day for Molly. She was getting ready to do one of her most favourite things of all with her best friend Millie. Don't worry, you're coming too. Mwah. We're going to have fun, Dolly. Molly, time to go. Hmm. And over at Millie's place, Millie was getting ready too, packing everything she thought she might need for their adventure. Ah! No, don't get in the way, Mama Lee. You know you can't come. Millie, Molly's here. <laughs> Hurry up. Coming! Ah! Don't worry, Jemima. You're coming too. <laughs> Sandwich is nearly ready. Oh, she takes some yummy fruit. And something to drink too. Can we take some cake? Yeah, we can eat it after the sandwiches. What is that? Have you got everything? Almost! Somewhere. Are you sure it's in here? We put it in here after the last time, so it must be in here somewhere. You sure have a lot of interesting things in here? Yeah, everything except what we want. Here it is. Dad, we found the tent. One more thing and then we can go. Ready! <laughs> Finally, they were off. Off to go camping overnight all by themselves. Once their dads had helped them set up, of course. I didn't know you had this many things, girls. We didn't want to leave anything behind. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't think you have. All the way down the back, Tom. Next time I'm hiring a truck. Oh, no, you don't. Naughty, we told you. Yes, mm -mm. you can't come. Mm -mm. Back inside. Sure, go on. I guess I just want to... The tent was going to be set up way down near yeah. Millie's back fence, okay. where the trees and bushes grew wild. I can't wait until the tent's up. Me either. We're going to turn it into a cubby house and make it comfy and everything. <laughs> Millie and Molly were excited and just a little frightened because this time they were going to have to be very brave. The first time they'd ever gone camping was in Millie's front yard. They had lots of fun setting everything up. This could be a bed for Jemima and Dolly. Great! I think they're going to be really comfy in this. Yeah. And we can keep special things in this. I already have a smooth stone, a cotton reel and some special shiny paper. Good! Marmalade! Ah! <laughs> and what do we do after the park? I don't know. Maybe get our skateboards. Hi, Jack. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Millie and I are camping. We're going to stay up all night. All night? But even though Millie and Molly said they were going to camp out all night, when the sun went down and the happy sounds of the day disappeared, What's that noise? It's probably nothing. <laughs> Millie and Molly stopped camping and went inside the house. The second time Millie and Molly had gone camping, they set up the tent in Millie's backyard close to the house and stayed out till it was quite dark. Time is it? Late. Come here, Dolly. It's all right, Jemima. It's not that scary out here. Is it? Maybe we should go inside now. Let's stay in the tent a bit longer. <gasps> <gasps>
But this time, Millie and Molly were determined to stay out all night. OK, that should do. Dad, the sun isn't up yet. It's <laughs> amazing. Did you hear some voices? Yeah, it sounded like Millie and Molly. But where are they? We're in the tent, you know. Can we push it up yet? Oh, is that what these lumps are? <laughs> well, I suppose you can push it up. No, I kind of like it the way it is. You do not. Come on, <laughs> let's get it up. I'll eat my hat if those two manage to stay out all night. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it too. Are you sure? We're sure. Well, it's not too far up to the house if you change your minds. We won't. We'll see. Good luck. So well, Millie and Molly set about making their camp comfortable and enjoying their camping. In the middle of the night. There aren't any tigers in Millie's backyard. Are there? Of course not. See? A torch. No, the tigers got chased away by the bears. Yeah, big bears with big teeth. And they like the taste of girls. Grrr. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the morning. Yeah, if the bears don't get you. Um, maybe we should go in the house. You know, just before it gets really dark. No, we said we'd stay out all night. But we have to be brave. Together. Together. And so together, Millie and Molly ate their sandwiches and cake for dinner, while there was still enough light. Let's make sure we don't leave any crumbs. Why? We don't want to tell the bears. But there aren't any bears in your backyard. Are there? No, no bears in here. But just in case. And just in case, Millie and Molly made sure the flaps of the tent stayed closed so that no big animals like bears could look in. Even though they both knew that there were no bears in Millie's backyard. <laughs> Millie? Yeah? What's that shadow on? Oh, I, uh, I think it's a tree. Turn your torch on. I don't think Della should sleep by herself tonight. I think she's frightened. Yeah, it's your mama too. Uh, let's read a book. Oh, I left my book outside. Me too. You'd better get it. You'd better get yours. What about the bears? I don't think they can read. But they can eat. The books? No, ah. Uh, but there are no bears. Good, so you can go and get your book. Let's go together. <laughs> they have the books. The bears didn't get them. There aren't any bears. I know, but they still didn't get the books. <laughs> Run! It's a bear behind you! <coughs> quick, quick, quick! Whose idea was this? Yours. I can't hear anything. Maybe the bears have gone. Can't say anything. This was your idea. It was yours. Very small. 
Look. That's the bear. Wow. Oh, cat. Marmalade. You naughty cat. You two scared us. We thought you were bears. But there are no bears in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> night, night, Marmalade. Night, night, Tom Cat. After all the excitement, Millie and Molly were so tired they were sound asleep in no time. Daddy, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs>